911, what are you reporting? This is, this is AC. I have OJ in the car. Okay, where are you? Please, I'm coming up the 5 freeway. Okay. Right now, we all we are okay, but you got to tell the police to just back off. He's still alive, but he got a gun to his head. Is everything else okay? Everything right now is okay, officer. Everything is okay. All about, he wants to, me to get it to his mom. He wants me to get it to his house. Okay. So that's all I... That's all we ask. He got a gun in his head. Okay, and what, what's your name? My name is AC. You know who I am, goddammit. Okay, so I'm going to do a little review on the Bronco Sport right here. So this is the Bronco Sport. This one is $31,000 with the few things that it comes with. And I tell you, from what I can see, it's basically like, it's a lot like one of those rental cars that you get when you got to rent a car, you know? But I have to say, because of the fact that this thing is an SUV and that it comes in different colors, but because of the fact that the thing is kind of, you know, it's an SUV basically, you get actually a lot of space in these things because of the fact that you have such a high roof. This is ultimately the reason, look, they got dust balls or some shit rolling around on the screen. But this is the reason why most people are currently making the switch up to SUVs. It's because, oh, look, this guy parked a freaking SRT Jeep Grand Cherokee right in front of me because I'm right there. And this guy parked that damn thing in front of me. And now I can't drive out because this guy parked a goddamn Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT in front of me. Who did this guy think he is? This guy. You can't do that. Ugh. All right, so everything in this one is manual because everything is like the lowest grade. So it's all manual. Interior is, uh, I wonder, here's my question. I can't personally say that this is the ultimate Ford Bronco unless I hear it come from OJ Simpson himself because OJ Simpson knows a Bronco when he sees it. And um, I, I think if you were gonna get this Ford Bronco, they say this, this is the small one. They say there's a larger one coming out soon. If you're gonna get a Ford Bronco, you pretty much have to get it in white and you have to let it, the cops chase you though, you know? Yeah, so uh, it's a pretty simple interior. I mean, it's like any rental car, except it has a little touchscreen navigation. So I'm having system. salesman pull it out for me. It's got nice little looks. It, you know what this reminds me of? And I'm pretty sure it's probably built the same exact way. It reminds me of one of those really small Range Rovers. That's what it looks like. It has like a, a three cylinder engine. And it, you know, this is this is not, you know, it's not a race car. It's not like that Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT right there. It's not a race car, but uh, it looks like good looking. Some of the nice colors. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty uh, Bronco Sport. But supposedly the Bronco is going to be bigger. Like this Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. You know, the fast trucks. Fast trucks. Right? It's got some bird shit right there. You got to clean that off, homie. Oh, he got a 2014, 2015, 2016 model. So somewhere in between 14 and 15 right there. And it looks great. And there's some of Ford's other trucks. Unfortunately, they don't have the Raptor, I don't think. I don't see a Raptor, but they probably have a Raptor somewhere. I don't know. I don't see a Raptor. Yeah, okay. And as you can see, before I get in the Bronco, this is the Mach-E. I was very impressed with the Mach-E. It's a really great electric vehicle. And one thing I also learned, most of these cars, when I say that you need to have a minimum of 300 miles, it's actually funny because most of these cars actually do have a minimum of 300 miles. The only thing about it is the car specifically says 275 or 250, but in order to get that extra 15 miles, that's usually the reserve. So once you hit zero, Either you have about 10 to 20 miles remaining if you turn off all your uh, accessories and this, that, and other, and you don't work the car very difficult. Um, but if, you, if you're running out of power and you're still trying to get to a power charger, chances are you probably have about 10 to 20 miles left of range, even if the needle says zero. Um, I believe it was either Motor Trend or Car and Driver. They did a uh, test to see just how much uh, range you can get out of one of these cars after it hits zero. And from what I've... Okay. Yeah, so 
he has to go put gas in the Bronco, apparently. So he'll, he's going to be back in five minutes. But, um, yeah, the Mach-E is actually really, really nice. And um, my whole family seemed to like it. Now, what we got right here? We got a white Ford Bronco. So where's OJ? OJ should be somewhere around here. Where's OJ Simpson? If you're going to buy a white Ford Bronco, oh, you got to be OJ Simpson. It says this is a Badlands model, right? Man, you know, basically the only way that I can really do a Bronco review. Uh-oh, he's starting up that Jeep Grand Cherokee. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. What a lucky guy to have a Jeep Grand Cherokee that has distinctive looks and has distinctive wheels on it, right? Not like that stupid Trackhawk where nobody can tell if it's a V6 or not and all you got is yellow calipers, right? My calipers are red. You know what red means? It means fast. That's what happens when you understand marketing and you're not stupid. So anyway, this is the Bronco. It's got a front camera down there. That's nice. It's a white Ford Bronco with a tan interior. I think Nicole Brown Simpson would appreciate this. It's got a nice tan interior in there. It's the only thing missing are the cops to chase you. Oh, look, it's got a, a roof. It's got the sunroof. And it has a big opening sunroof and it's white and and uh oj would love it that's what i like that one. i mean you can't have a bronco without oj simpson as you can see the uh, bronco has far less road presence than that explorer right there because it's obviously so much smaller so my guess is it won't be a real Bronco until they, oh, shit, this guy's blowing and everything. It's like, this guy ain't got time for that nonsense. He ain't waiting. This guy is testing out his horn on you. But anyway, I think the road presence would be a lot better if it was the size of the Explorer or the Expedition. But this is just what it looks like. Looks good, though. It's it's a nice, cute little utility vehicle. I think it is. The edge is a big dog. You probably get an edge for less than you get this. What are you coming out of? A Cadillac, you said? XT5 Cadillac. Okay. okay. See, now what compares with the XT5 is what I have in the upstairs showroom is a Corsair. A Corsair? Yeah, the Lincoln Corsair. Oh, but no, you, then that means you got to go over to Lincoln. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're in Cadillac. So Cadillac compares with Lincoln. Cadillac doesn't go to a Ford usually. No. You don't compare a Ford to a Cadillac. Not unless you're going with one of the bigger ones, like the Expedition or right. something. Well, the Expedition, well, you compare a Navigator with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a, uh, an Escalade. But it's a, it depends on, you know, what you're, what you're looking to accomplish. You got a Slippery, you got Sport, you got Normal Echo, you got Normal, and then you got uh, Sand. So ah. You know, so and then about? you just turn stability control off. Yeah, well, when you go to Sand, it shuts it off. Okay. Yeah, so there's a Normal. Um, but this is the, you know, this is the entry level. This is the sport. This is the, it's the Bronco. It's not the real Bronco is going to compete with the uh, the Wrangler. And you're saying that doesn't come out till the summer. And that, you, ain't gonna, you, ain't, you won't be able to get one until next year, probably, unless mm. something falls through the cracks. Okay. The earliest they're coming out is at the end of is, is the is the summer. We won't we'll know until May, but the schedule. Well, gets on. it's exact. It's, it's it's actually not exactly what I expected. The EcoBoost engine that these things use is like 1.3 liters. It's, it's not extraordinarily powerful. It takes a long time for the thing to accelerate. And um, I, I think these things are actually getting pretty decent reviews because mostly they're focusing on fuel economy. It's actually too bad that this uh, Bronco wasn't an electric vehicle because had it been an electric vehicle like that Mustang, I actually think it would have gotten better and better, better uh, reviews because then it would have been a perfect electric vehicle. But see, ultimately, this is exactly the reason why it's so important to get away from these stupid gasoline powered three and four. So that's a three cylinder, by the way. It's actually really good to get away from these stupid three and four cylinders because the problem is you can never find a transmission that makes those cars feel the way you want them to feel. It would actually be better to just make them electric at this point. And that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm very, very enthusiastic about electric vehicles. And it's because um, you don't have to anymore. You don't have to worry about how an uh, engine is made into a transmission when you have it all electric. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have been speeding, buddy. What do you think this is? You think this is the Indianapolis 500? Huh, OJ? What do you think, OJ Simpson? This is the Indianapolis 500? They're speeding through my uh, patrol zone. What's this guy doing?